In this video, we'll review doing binomial probabilities using the online calculator. There's many online calculators out there. I just like this one because it gave us a, uh, a nice graph to go along with it. But feel free to find your own. Just click on the link provided in the resources, and you should be taken to the SOCR distributions menu. From the drop down menu, select the binomial distribution. you see that the value of n is limited to 60, but the probability of success can be entered anywhere from 0 to 1. In our example, we'll look at the triad example from the book. According to a Gallup poll, 60% of American adults prefer saving over spending. Let x equal the number of American adults out of a random sample of 50 who prefer saving to spending. First, you want to identify what n is. In this case, it's a random sample of size 50, so n is 50. On our graph, we can set that to be 50. Notice that you can also type the number in here to set it exactly at 50. We also want to know the probability of success. Since 60% of American adults prefer saving over spending, the probability that I pick one randomly uh, prefers saving over spending is also 0.6. So P is going to be 0.6 for this problem. And you can type it in directly there. And then right away we get a nice graph. Now the probabilities are going to be certain shaded regions of this graph. The first probability, we want the probability that 25 adults in the sample prefer saving over spending. So for some exact number, you need to tell it to go from 25 to 25. And then hit enter. You need to hit enter on each of these. So this highlighted just the 25 bar. And then it gets you the probability is 0.04. So when you look at probabilities, look for between in the red shaded area. Oh, notice we also have the mean and standard deviation of the uh, probability. That's going to be something they ask at the end. That's automatically calculated down there. Okay, so uh, the probability that it's 25 is the between probability of 0.040464. Suppose we want the probability that, at most, 20 adults prefer saving. This would be the values of x from 0 up to and including 20. On the graph, you just want the left cutoff to be 20, and then, or let's do the left cutoff to be 0, and then the right cutoff to be 20. Remember, our expected value is 30, right? That's half of the, or 60% of the 50 people. So it would be very unlikely to only get uh, 20 or fewer individuals um, with a sample of size 50 when you expect more than half of them to, um, to respond as success. So you can see just a tiny bit here where it's been shaded. And then all the other probabilities are so small that they're almost negligible. So we still want the between area, and the between area is 0 0.00336. So very small, very unlikely. In the next part, we want the probability that more than 30 adults prefer saving. So here we want to go higher than 30, and we don't want to include 30, right? More than 30 would be 31 and up. So we can have the left cutoff be 31, and then the right cutoff go all the way to 50. So this goes from 31 all the way to 50. And you can see the area is 0.446476. So you can calculate probabilities. If you need to get a graph from this, such as you do for that, you can use your snipping tool if you have one of those newer versions of Windows. I guess I have mine in the shortcut, but it's uh, Programs, Accessories, Snipping Tool and you can get a graph that way. Um, if not, you can do sort of a uh, control print screen and then get a, uh, a nice screenshot from that. And that's sufficient. Or even go into paint and edit it out if you feel the need, but this is okay too. Um, you can also take the numbers and go in, if you want a fancier graph, you could do it in uh, spreadsheet software. And uh, that's demonstrated in the other video.
All right, that's calculating binomial probabilities using the online calculator.